My name is Wendy West. I was born in Scotland. I have cerebral palsy. I have involuntary movements. I was introduced to the ACE Center in 1984. I moved to Oxford and went to the Ulmer Rudd School for disabled children. Children with disabilities were being integrated into mainstream schools. I needed specialist equipment. Due to cerebral palsy, I am unable to write with a pen. The ACE Center provided me a computer that was mounted onto a trolley, which then accompanied me to each class. They were big and bulky. Every class that I went to, my computer came with me. I went on to further education, a college for students with disabilities. The Star Center was very geared up with technology. I had to approach various charities for funding. It took a while but they provided me with a computer. I then went on to study GCSE in English B, Sociology C and Psychology B. During the lectures I had a learning support that I carried all my homework on my computer at home. I wasn't able to use a normal mouse so in Southampton there's a place called Keytools and they gave me another company that provides technology for disabled adults, and they had a joystick, mouse and keyboard which again made it a lot easier for me. When I went to Eastleigh College and did my O-level in English, psychology and sociology, children can be a bit cruel. I would walk in the corridor and they would laugh at me. One day, I was upset and Donna asked me what was wrong. I explained to her that no matter how many times I tell people that, just because I have a disability, it does not mean I don't have a brain. Ten years later I received an email from Donna to say that she wanted to become a social worker for children with disabilities. She really explained to me what it what life has been like for her and the difficulties that she's faced and she you know she has some difficulties with her communication and because of that people don't give her don't give her chance she went on to say that she had graduated in the email i became very emotional and overwhelmed having a disability does not have to be a negative thing technology has improved vastly the internet has enabled me to keep in contact with all my friends and family and i can use facetime and WhatsApp. And it's only in the last two years that my mum has advanced to a smartphone. And now we are regularly talking and we can see each other. I make sure my hair is tidy. I just want to say, people out there who have a disability, you can achieve what you want to achieve with the technology, whether you're able to speak or not. Nothing or no one in your way.